welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to test the Rockford Fastgate Punch 50M from the Power Series. This amp is made in 1996 and is rated 50 watts mono into a 4 ohm load. Today I'm going to perform an output power test dynamically at 0.25 ohms. By the way, I bought some new resistors for output power testing. Each of these resistors have one ohm and a continuous rating of 1000 watts. So four of them is 4000 watts. And if I connect them all parallel, I have a quarter ohm. If I connect them in series, I have four ohm. The resistive load with pure resistors is the hardest condition for an amplifier. First test is four ohms mono. This amp is, as I said, just a mono amp. Closer view to the signal we measured and there is no clipping. We have a maximum voltage of 28.4 volts. On the 4 ohm mono load the amp is doing a little more than 100 watts. The next test on 2 ohms mono. Now we have a peak voltage of 28 volts. This is around 195 watts on 2 ohms. Also here the signal is unclipped so it's everything is clean and the next test is just more interesting now we go down to one ohm in this case you can see there is just a little bit of clipping in the signal we don't take this signal um, i make another measurement and will reduce again a little bit to make sure to get clean output power and there we have 26 volts and at one ohm mono and the signal looks clean no clipping I zoom back and with this we have uh, mono 1 ohm 26 volts multiplied by 0 0.707 is 18.38 volts RMS voltage and this equals around 337 watts mono 1 ohm and as you can see we have a maximum voltage of 22.4 volts and this is an incredible amount of power mono half ohm of 501.6 watts mono half ohm i know from an article of an italian audio magazine there was an article from 1996 and they connected 32 4 ohm 10 inch woofers to one punch power 50m let's go down to 0 0.25 ohms Oh, we see a little bit of clipping. Signal is not clean enough for me. I will reduce again a little bit. And now we have a clean signal. I would say, I would call this a clean signal. Let's zoom in. Yeah, that's clean enough. I don't see clipping. We just have 12.4432 volts RMS with a quarter ohm and this equals it's incredible that 619.3 watts can you imagine what you can power with this amp a big amount of speakers 0 0.25 ohms on a punch 50 amp from the power series yeah I'm pretty impressed And a closer look to the internals of the amp. So here, is the, here are the battery connectors, B plus ground remote. And here we have six big capacitors with a capacitance of 3300 microfarads at 35 volts. And these three guys here and these guys here are the power supply transistors or field effect transistors. Here we have power diodes, also here two power diodes and a voltage regulator. The voltage regulators, we have one positive and one negative regulator. They deliver the uh, power supplies for the input stage of the operational amplifiers here in the, in the input section of the amp. Plus 15 volts and minus 15 volts in most cases. Here's a crossover card and right behind the voltage regulators we have one, two, three, four five six seven eight 
um, output power transistors or output power field effect transistors and uh, big resistors here source resistors and uh, sometimes in most cases these guys fail because uh, one of them or more of them failed because of driving an amp with a low ohm load too hard here's a bias pot you can adjust the idle current with this one you have three switches where you can shift the phase crossover yes no or if you want to split stereo input or mono input you can link two amps of these together and uh, have another nice 50 watt amp transformer here driver transistors here thanks for watching see you next time bye bye